Good morning everyone and welcome to my what I eat in a day video. I've had a black coffee so far and I'm about to make my breakfast right now as you can see. Uh, for this I'm using one tip of low fat or 0% fat <laughs> Greek yogurt, skier or quark. I always vary between those. Um, then I'm adding some fresh strawberries and some grizzly with hazelnuts and dark pieces of chocolate. Um, this is also something that I switch now and then but lately I've been really addicted to this in particular. <laughs> All right, guys, it's a kind of subtropic vibe right here, don't you think? <laughs> I'm currently sitting in our indoor garden and it's honestly one of my favorite spots of the house. It's so cozy in here. And uh, yeah, I just love to be surrounded with the beautiful flowers. I will maybe give you guys a little insight, but if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen already how it kind of looks like. Anyhow, in today's video, I am going to show you guys a uh, full day of eating. Um, it's going to be a very realistic video. This means you will probably see some dishes coming by that you have seen coming by on my Instagram as well. Um, this means I eat this very regularly, regularly. <laughs> um, just like this beautiful big bowl full of protein of course honestly one of my favorite breakfast ever i eat this daily for example right now i use some uh, strawberries but like on other days it depends on what kinds of fruits i have in the house um, usually it's kiwi banana apple or strawberries those are like my four favorite pieces of fruit as you can see I also didn't weigh anything um, I actually don't weigh anything at the moment so for for everything I eat I just estimate portions um, so yeah that's uh, meal number one <laughs> What I love so much about this breakfast is that it's super yummy, it's healthy, you've got your fiber, you've got your vitamins, you've got your carbs and you've got a lot a lot of protein because I'm eating 500 grams like I always eat one complete um, yeah, cup of yogurt so 500 grams and this one is um, uh, I think it's Greek yogurt or low fat cottage cheese, either one of the two, but the macros are um, yeah, almost the same. And I think this uh, for 500 grams is already around 40 grams of protein I have in my system right away to start at day. I think that's a really good tip I can give you guys. If you struggle to eat enough protein during the day, start your day with a high protein breakfast. It could be yeah anything actually what you like but make sure you eat like around one third of your total daily protein take right away then it is time for lunch depending on how hungry i am i choose for either two or three eggs but today i go for two eggs because i'm not super hungry actually and if you have watched my other what i eat in a day video which i've probably posted like i think <laughs> one year ago or something you will know i can't live a day without bread it's honestly my favorite food ever hence the bagel of course so yeah oh, so yummy Thank you. 
lunch is served and I am eating some scrambled eggs with some avocado and a seasoned bagel. If you ask me, I think this is the perfect lunch. It's super easy to make, it's super filling. That's basically all I want. <laughs> Usually for lunch, I go for something that's super quick to make. And yeah, I also eat my lunch very late. Actually, as I said, this is going to be a very realistic what I eat in the day video. It's currently 4 p.m. I think already. Um, and yeah, I am about to eat my second meal of the day. Um, the reason why um, there's a couple of hours between my lunch and my breakfast and my lunch is because as you've seen, my breakfast is like really the king meal of the day. I'm usually very hungry in the morning. Like when I wake up within the first hour, I really need to eat something. And then yeah, I just eat my breakfast and I eat a large breakfast. And the breakfast I eat is super filling that I really satiated for a couple of hours, which is super good. Um, so yeah, I'm about to eat this right now. Sometimes I also eat scrambled eggs with some uh, bacon on it, but <laughs> I know this is going to sound super weird, but what I really hate about frying bacon or baking bacon, I don't know, grilling bacon, <laughs> how do you call it? <laughs> that it really gives a um, very strong and actually disgusting smell in the entire house and it lasts there for the entire day and I don't really like it so therefore I've opted for avocado instead it's not really something that you can compare with bacon because bacon is quite high in protein avocado is super satiating is super high in fats um, so yeah it's just a complete different food type if I can say it like that anyhow it's also super delicious so hmm Okay, I know this is super random, but I thought, hey, let's share as well my favorite soft drink ever, and that is iced tea. Okay, so I will say it in advance before I get any questions, because I've already got some questions from people asking me on Instagram, where's my top from? So I thought, you know, let's do a little fashion haul. <laughs> I feel like uh, this is a typical kind of a beauty blogger thing like outfit is from this 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 and this but um, yeah for once I'm gonna do it like the real OGs you know the top is from Shane she ain I don't know how you pronounce it but I pronounce it like Shane very happy with the quality honestly it's super cute jeans are as usual Zara I've had them for I think around two years or so um, very flattering and then my cute slippies are also from Shane really love them they are so comfy but now it is time it is time to train and I will train my upper body I've checked my channel yes sometimes I do check my own channel <laughs> And I've noticed that like most of my videos are about lower body training sessions. So today I will show you guys a uh, upper body routine, um, shoulders and triceps. And yeah, that's what we are going to do. Outfit is changed and I chose for the uh, ripped temple collection by PLF Sportswear. And oh my god, you guys, I really love this set so much. It's ripped material. It fits so amazing. I don't know if you can see. Absolutely one of my favorite sets. Like, actually, their temple collection is just my favorite collections of all the collections it's so 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 cute it fits amazing but one tip i would like to give you is size up i do find that it really fits quite small compared to other brands 
So for example, I am wearing a size medium for the leggings, where 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 <laughs> I can never pronounce that word correctly. Um, in other brands, I always wear a size small, so keep this in mind. Top, I usually wear a size medium, but for this one, I've stayed to a medium. Other tops from the Tempo collection, the blue one and then the white one, I am wearing a size large. So yeah. Oh, and she also got some new sneakers. Oh, I think you guys haven't seen this yet, but EHP Naps launched a new pre-workout, which is called Pride. And I am using Pride here in this video, in this workout, using the flavor Sore Apple, and it's so good. So I'm starting my upper body workout with a, a little warm-up routine and for this I usually do some shoulder circles in the front part and then reverse going into front into side races and then um, finishing off with some rotator cuffs and I repeat this little routine for three times in total.
for my post-workout protein shake I usually go either for one and a half scoop or two scoops of protein powder just for the sake of having you know extra protein into my system. It is time for dinner. I love to cook and that's why I always take my time and make sure to prepare a healthy but delicious and nutritious meal in the evening. So dinner is ready and I'm going to eat some basmati rice, some chicken, some mushrooms in the abolic sauce. Um, now this is a dish I make very frequently because David and I both love pasta so freaking much. We better shall go and move to Italy I think, no? <laughs> if you love spicy um, yeah, meals then I would highly suggest you to try out this recipe. Um, sure you're gonna love it. <laughs> it's actually quite late as well. Where's my phone? It's currently 11, um, 40 in the evening. So this is actually not a very rare or unusual time for us to eat dinner. We both are not <laughs> really morning persons. We start eating breakfast quite late, like almost in the afternoon, so then everything also delays a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat this right now. Oh, by the way, before you think I eat all the rice I've cooked and all the chicken, it's not I've cooked for David and I, and I've cooked approximately, I think it was 500 grams of chicken and I just divided it into two portions, so I think for me, here on my plate I'm eating around 200 to 250 grams of chicken and then uh, just a tiny bit of rice um, so yeah I'm going to eat it right now <laughs> So it is finally chill time and this is our newest addition to the bunny family, it's little Rosie. <laughs> She's so cute and so little and unfortunately my other bunnies, they don't want to be friends with her 
but maybe in the future but for now she's just my little fluffy baby and I give her extra attention <laughs> and it is also <laughs> oh. and it's also time right now to enjoy a little piece of chocolate this is I usually am not a big fan of dark chocolate but this one this is by Tony Chocolonely this is dark with sea salt and some nuts in it and it's super yummy actually so. <laughs> Oh, and if you wonder why the heck is she laughing at, David was sitting in front of me <laughs> and I was giving him a sign every now and then um, when the light went down that he needed to wave with his hand because the light only goes on with the sensor and if there is something like happening in front of the sensor. <laughs> David is all the time. That's a mop to the side. 